Hey guys, I'm Cameron and welcome back to my channel where we sip tea and also spill the tea as I talk about some of my favorite reads. So this video is really spur of the moment, you guys. And first of all, I just want to say if there's a glare going off my glasses, I'm sorry. Um, I usually wear my contacts whenever I film a video, but as you can tell with my no makeup on and uh, my sweatpants, I wasn't expecting to make this, hence the glasses. I decided that I wanted to make a vlog. I just feel like it's been so long since I've just sat down and talked to you guys about the books that I'm reading and I missed that. So here I am. This vlog is going to be all about me reading smutty college slash new adult romances. And I've been meaning to reread The Deal by L. Kennedy for a while now. I've been wanting to reread that book because I remember the first time I read that book, it was so good. I really liked it and it made me laugh so much. And you know what guys, I wanted to have that feeling again. I just wanted to laugh. So last night I got the book on my phone and I've been reading it ever since. And I'm ar already more than halfway through. So I have a lot to talk to you guys about. So let's get into this video and let me tell you about my thoughts and my opinions about my reread so far of Elle Kennedy. Hey guys, it's me. So I realized that as I was editing this video that I didn't actually explain what the deal by Elle Kennedy is really about. So here I am. I'm going to give you a really brief synopsis about what this book is about okay so basically this is about a girl named hannah who is doing really really well in her philosophy class and the love interest garrett is not doing so hot and he is a hockey player at the college and in order to be in the games he has to be passing at all times so by chance he comes to find out that hannah is doing really well in this class that he's in and he decides that he has to convince hannah to be his tutor so in order to convince her he decides to make a deal with her and that deal is that he will be her fake boyfriend so that they can try to make this guy justin really jealous so that justin will ask hannah out on a date because she's absolutely in love with justin so hannah of course agrees to this deal and from there she ends up being his tutor and a relationship starts to develop between the two. So yeah, <laughs> let's get back into the video, okay? So the first thing I wanted to talk about was I wanted to raise the question, why is this book so popular? Why is this one so high in its ratings? What makes the deal such a big deal in the new adult books? I wanted to raise that question and try to and try to give my best and honest opinion as to why this book is so popular. And honestly guys, as I started to read it and enjoy it so much, I really came to the conclusion that I think what makes this book so phenomenal is that its characters are just so relatable. And I'm not just talking about Hannah, who is such a freaking awesome protagonist by the way I'm also talking about um Garrett as well you know this book switches back and forth from Hannah's point of view to Garrett's point of view and Garrett is just such Garrett is just so much fun to read about and that really surprises me because most of the time whenever I'm reading a book I usually tend to connect more to the girls side of the story and it's obviously, I think, because I am a girl, uh, if you didn't know that. <laughs> but um, Garrett is just so quirky, and everything that he says, it's just, it's so funny. What I was trying to say, though, is that both of these characters are so relatable, and the things that they go through, and the things that they think themselves, 
as they uh, go along in the book. It's just something that I can truly see myself thinking and see myself doing. And one of the main things that I like to point out uh, that is the most relatable to me is uh, at the very beginning of the book, you know, Hannah is talking about how she's just so in love with Justin. Um, who is a football player in the book and he's somebody who she has um she, she has a class with and he just transferred to the school about two months ago he's new on campus and she basically is in love with him she thinks he is god's gift to women she thinks he is so handsome and sensitive and sweet and she thinks all of these things from afar she has never had an actual conversation with Justin, yet she is already planning her future with him. She's already planning how many kids they're going to have. She's planning um, how they are going to have a great life together. But she's never even had a, like, had a conversation with him, like, at all. She's never even met him before. <laughs> and it's just so relatable because that is literally me. Like, I mean, take away the planning for kids part because um I can barely plan what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight let alone uh talk about planning for kids yeah um nope <laughs> that's not me <laughs> no 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 but um I'm just I'm somebody who I whenever I like somebody I get so nervous to actually have a conversation with them so most of the time, instead of going up to the person that I think is cute and talking to them and getting to know them, I will just um, look at them from afar and admire them and appreciate them. And, and usually I'll, that, that also goes along with me stalking them on Instagram. <laughs> but it is just so funny and I, I love how... I can just relate so much to Hannah and to what she's going through. It's just so cool to read that and to know that I'm not alone and that I have somebody who I can compare my own life choices to. And even if that person is fictional, I still have somebody who I can relate to, you know? And that's what I love about Hannah. Now that I have talked about the relatability of the characters which I mainly focused on Hannah I will get more into Garrett's character later on in the vlog but um I do want to start talking about more things that I like about the book so I feel like another thing that makes the book so so popular is that it doesn't read like a book it feels more like I'm watching a movie and I don't know if that makes any sense I don't know how to explain it but just the way that the author sets things up the different conflicts that the characters are facing it just feels like a movie this book reminds me so much of she's all that uh, you know, you know that that movie where um, Freddie Prince jr. He's like the really really popular guy. He makes a bet with his friends to turn a really nerdy girl into a really popular girl or something I, I don't know but same vibes that I get from that movie is the same type of vibes that I get from this book instead of having a bet we have a deal going on between our two main characters and the deal is that uh, Hannah will help Garrett uh pass his class by tutoring him and he will pay for his tutoring sessions by helping her be more desirable uh, to Justin and by being her fake boyfriend kind of to lead Justin on and to get Justin to ask her on a date. But where whereas the relationship is really cute and fun between Freddie Prince Jr. and his love interest and she's all that. I feel like the relationship that's being built in this book is just so much more believable and it's just so authentic and natural. And now I'm going to start getting more into the actual relationship that was built between Garrett and Hannah. Instead of having the relationship be and the attraction between the two characters be instantaneous and having them uh, get together and have sex and, and fall in love and the end um no 
The author doesn't do that. The relationship between the characters is not instant like that. Don't get me wrong, the characters do find each other attractive in their own way. They talk about how they uh, think the other one is cute or hot. Or in Garrett's case, he in the very first chapter, he talks about how Hannah has a really nice butt. <laughs> but um, I really like how the author took time to build the relationship. She had them first be reluctant acquaintances and then they become friends and then from there they start to really really build a connection and to start sharing things with each other and then they end up really really liking each other and by really liking each other I mean they end up having sex and um yeah <laughs> There and then from there, that's when they start really thinking that, wow, I really like this girl. Or in Hannah's case, wow, I somehow like this jock of a hockey player. And I just love how the, re the relationship was not forced. It was so, so natural and so real. And they truly care about each other. And that's what I liked about it. And another thing that I really liked was that throughout the whole time that they were building this relationship and that they're going from um that they're going from study buddies to real best friends to boyfriend and girlfriend they were confused themselves as they were building up this relationship they themselves did not want to uh, accept what was happening between one another they didn't want to think that they were actually liking each other more than friends and they were confused whenever whenever they did finally have their first kiss or whenever they started doing more intimate things even then after those things occurred they still hung out with each other and were practically dating without having the terms dating they were still so confused themselves they didn't know what the heck was going on and i think that that just truly reflects on what it really is like to be somebody who is young and who is in college and who is just starting to have like a real relationship with somebody. Like, I mean, none of us know what's going on whenever we are in college and we meet somebody that we like. None of us have our crap together and we don't know what's going to happen whenever we get into relationships and I think that the author just did such a good job at showing what a real college relationship is like. The last thing that I wanted to talk about um, was that while this book is so funny and so light, there are still serious things that are, that are being discussed in this book. And by those serious topics, I do mean how Hannah in her past was raped and how Garrett was abused by his father whenever he was young. And that is not a light thing to be ta to be writing about. That is very, very serious. But what I really admire about L. Kennedy is that while each of these characters have been victimized and they have gone through such heart-wrenching things, they themselves do not allow themselves to be victims. They, they're they not the victims of the story. If anything, they are survivors. And they are, they are more than survivors, they are fighters. And what I really, really liked about this was that they have been, both of these characters have been through such terrible things, yet they don't let it define them. And they both talk about uh, in their own chapters, in their own points of views, they talk about how, yes, they have been through such terrible things and they have had a hard past, but they don't let it define who they are. They don't let it bring them down. In fact, they use it as a, they use it as something to push them to truly go after the things that they want, to be happy. And I just think that that's so cool. I just feel like the author has such a unique and positive perspective on how somebody could deal with rape or deal with abuse so yeah guys um that is what i'm thinking so far i did not expect that i was going to talk 
to you guys this much about the deal. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is what I'm thinking so far. We'll get back to you guys once I've completely finished this book and I will tell you my overall thoughts and my overall feelings. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go because um, I really wanna read the rest of the book. So, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I just finished The Deal by Elle Kennedy. And first of all, I just have to say, just side note, um, you know you're living your best book nerd life whenever you're walking around your house in your robe and your comfy pants and your ugly comfy socks. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I have found that it's the ugliest socks that are always the comfiest. Like, I don't know what it is. These socks are so thick and so, um, <laughs> just ugly. They look like grandma socks, but they are freaking wonderful. And it, it feels like my feet is wrapped in the arms of heaven right now. It's absolutely fabulous. I totally suggest going out and finding your own pair of ugly socks. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to mention I am living my best life right now and it shows um but I wanted to uh, quickly talk to you about my final thoughts on The Deal by Elle Kennedy and then go into my next book that is going to be on this vlog so overall after finishing The Deal I just feel like I just got finished watching a really amazing rom-com movie and like I said before I really feel like this book reads like I'm watching a movie it is just so good and it keeps your attention and you want to see what happens next and it just flows with each scene and I could truly see this book being turned into a movie like somebody needs to get the rights to this and turn it into like a Netflix movie. Give me a freaking The Deal movie series and I would be so happy. Like, oh my gosh, please, <laughs> please. That's all I ask. Oh my gosh, I would love to see Garrett come to life, you know? You know what? I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm starting to ramble on. Um, but yeah, this book series needs a movie deal and it needs it now. Um, I'm just gonna say that right now. But anyways, um, so I realized I didn't talk that much about Garrett in the first part of this video. So I'm just gonna quickly say what I like about him, what I don't like about him, and hint, hint, um, there's absolutely nothing that I don't like about Garrett. Garrett is amazing. So what I really like about this author is I feel like she truly and intricately creates a full, in-depth person like I feel like Garrett and Hannah can literally walk off this page and uh, be somebody that I could run into at college myself and what I liked about Garrett was that he was just truly I, I feel like he is different from any other male character who I've read before especially because he's a jock so whenever I read sport romance types of books or just any book in general most of the time uh, our authors make very very big alpha male characters they make very strong and tough uh guys who can handle absolutely anything and who bosses around our main female all the time and our main female absolutely loves it and bows down to them like yeah that's usually the stereotype for every male character but our girl here l kennedy she did something completely different she gave us a big strong male jock but she also peeled back the layers and she showed us somebody who is soft somebody who is caring i just loved garrett's sense of humor i loved being able to be in his head and to hear all the thoughts that were going on uh, as he was talking and becoming friends and then becoming uh something much more intimate with Hannah 
it was just fun. It was fun being able to hear what he had to say and to be able to see his side of things. And I was always looking forward to read his point of view because he was just refreshing. And I'm really surprised that I liked Garrett as much as I did because like I said before, most of the time, whenever we have these type of back and forth point of view types of stories, that's usually not my cup of tea. I like the stories to be focused solely on the female characters because I connect well with them but I really connected to Garrett as well and he was so funny so funny I was laughing my butt off all throughout the story but it overall I just want to say that I really liked this book and I understand why everybody is so in love with this so overall I would probably say that this was a four out of five star read and guys if you just want something that is fun and sweet and just gives you a good laugh then I would totally say to pick this up the romance is sexy but at the same time like I said it's very sweet and it's something that you can relate to it is so relatable if you are somebody who you are currently in college and you just want to be able to connect to the person you want to be able to uh be able to put yourself in the character's shoes then i would so suggest this book 100 percent. it's just i loved it i absolutely loved it i really did and i can't rave enough about it i'm so happy i decided to reread it so yeah that was the deal by l kennedy so now Continuing on, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the next book that I'm going to be reading. And guys, I'm so excited for this. Like, ooh, I read this synopsis and it just made me so happy. It gave me such a thrill knowing that this is going to be my next read because I just knew 100% after reading that synopsis, I had to pick up this book. And yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, This book is about a girl who she goes on a date uh, for the first time and she does not like the guy who she's with. It's not going that well, I guess. And so she sneaks off into the bathroom to text her best friend to tell her what's going on. And then she ends up calling her, I guess, and telling her how much she does not like this guy. And she's just venting in the bathroom, I think. And um, this other guy happens to be walking past the bathroom I mean I, I don't know how he happens to hear what's what she's saying but somehow he overhears her conversation with her friend and whenever she gets out of the bathroom he tells her like wow you're a piece of work um he doesn't use the friendliest of words and I'm telling you guys this is all in the synopsis if you read it um it's oh I didn't even say what book this was and the book that I'm talking about is Boss Man by Vi Keeland it's either Vi Keeland or V Keeland her name is V I that's her first name V I so I'm guessing it's Vi right maybe I don't know but we're just gonna call her Vi so continuing on let me tell you what this is about uh the love interest ends up hearing uh what she's saying he, and he tells her that she's a piece of work and he proceeds to give her love advice after calling her a piece of work like okay so he ends up going back to his table and she goes back to her table back to the guy who she doesn't really like and throughout the whole evening she proceeds to like kind of sneak looks at that guy at the other guy and he happens to be on a date himself and that guy decides to go up to her at her table with her date and to act like he knows her. Him and his dates join them at her table and he proceeds to talk about and to recount all of these embarrassing stories, stories that he had with her whenever they were growing up as kids or something. And it's all total lies and she is so happy when she finally gets out of there at the end of the night and she thinks she's never gonna see him again and she's totally okay with it but then uh i believe like a couple months later she goes in for her first day on her at her new job and she finds out that her boss is no other than the man who called her a piece of work 
and who decided to embarrass her in front of her date. So, guys, this just sounds so good. This sounds like it's definitely going to be an enemies to lovers type of romance story. I mean, that's just me guessing. I mean, it sounds like it, right? Uh, because he did embarrass her and call her a piece of work. So, I feel like that is grounds for being enemies at first sight, you know? Um, so this just sounds so good. And we have the forbidden romantic trope of having the guy who you're most likely gonna get hot and sweaty with being your boss. So I, I know it's so cheesy, the whole boss trope thing. So, 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 so cheesy, but I absolutely eat that crap up. I love reading about stuff like that. It's just fun, it's fun. And so guys, Let's get into this book and once I'm a little bit, maybe like halfway through, I'll pop back on here and give you some deets and some of my thoughts, opinions, and conclusions. Um, so yeah, let's do this guys. See you later. Hey guys, so I'm currently walking around my neighborhood right now and I thought like this is the best lighting that I would get right now because in my room, the lighting is so dark it's it's not the best quality right now so i thought why not race against the sun right now and make a video and talk to you guys about where i'm at with my book um so i've been reading the what's the book called boss man by v kyland by v keelan my bad and i just want to say um, it started out really, really good. Like, it was so funny, and I was literally laughing my face off because the way our, uh, two characters met each other was just so hilarious. I was laughing so much all throughout the night. Um, but then it got to the point where they, uh, where our main character got her job and she found out that, you know, the boss is no other than the guy that she met that night. And from there on out, like just the romance and everything for me just sizzled out. Like there's nothing wrong with how they were interacting with, with one another. And I thought it was really cute. I uh, thought that the relationship progressed very naturally, but I think what it really is, is that the way that the author wrote their relationship, it, it could have been done in a more um, passionate way because I just, I just couldn't find myself connecting or being invested in what happened in the relationship. And I think what the real problem is, is that I read this book right after reading The Deal by L. Kennedy and that book was just so good, you guys. The deal was everything that I wanted and more. The relationship was so great between Garrett and Hannah. And it's just hard to go from reading something like that to reading Boss Man by V. Keeland. Anyways, I'm almost finished with the book. I only have about like 30 or 40 pages left. And right now our two main characters are in like a rocky patch. And... I just don't really care about whether they end up together or not and I think that says the most about how I'm feeling about this book. Now I do want to say there were some good comedic timing moments but that was all at the beginning and after I made it past like the first two chapters it just wasn't keeping my attention and I feel like I'm reading it more uh, just so that I can finish reading it. and. That's never good, you know? I'm basically trying to completely read this book because I want it to be added to my Goodreads quota at the end of the year, you know? And anyways, guys, so was it a bad book? It wasn't. I just feel like the relationship could have been written so much better because while it did run smoothly, and it wasn't to totally completely forced or anything. It wasn't like an insta, insta romance type of thing. I just feel like the author didn't write enough, uh, enough passion between the characters and she didn't make enough tension filled moments. I, I feel like she did try to write 
uh, moments where there was a lot of tension, but I just don't feel like her writing quality was great enough to make me truly feel like there was an actual like type of tension between the two characters. So yeah, um, I would probably give this book like a three out of five stars, maybe a 2.5 because I mean the book wasn't bad. It was just average and yeah, that's how I feel about this book. Um, I do have to mention that I did like the male lead. I thought that he was pretty funny and charming, but he's just nothing compared to Garrett. So yeah, um, at the end of the day, I think what I have to say is that you should definitely read the deal. Totally read the deal. Like you have to do it. You have to do it. If you're somebody who you like romance, read it, read it now you will not be sorry and yeah um if you feel like reading more fluffy stuff then i guess um read boss man but if it was a choice between the deal and the boss man i would totally recommend that you read the deal because it's so much so much better so it's getting so dark now so i'm going to try to film my outro right now and i'm gonna try to do it really really quickly so that it doesn't get too dark <laughs> so guys i really enjoyed making this video for you guys i love just being able to talk with you about what i'm reading and yeah if you liked this type of video then please comment down below and tell me that you did so that I know that I should make more videos like this in the future. So I hope you'll have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and to subscribe because I love being able to see that you guys are enjoying these videos. And yeah, talk to you later, okay? I'll see y'all later, guys.